let's start with our artist prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, help me to create wonderful things. Thank you for blessing me with my talents. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. For this week's art class, we will be outlining all of our pencil lines as well as completely coloring our perspective city. For this week's art class, the supplies you will need are a ruler or something to use as a straight edge. Remember, we are not measuring anything. We just need to get nice straight lines, even when we are outlining our pencil lines. You will also need a dark marker. I am using a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, you could use a black Crayola marker, a black colored pencil. If you don't have anything black, you could even use a dark brown or green or purple marker, pencil, whatever you have will work. I just want those dark lines that you did such a nice job with to stand out. Then the last thing you will need is something to color with. I've used colored pencils in one of my samples. I also used markers in the other. If you wanted to use crayons or whatever you have at home will work fine. You just need a variety of colors. All right, so it is time to finish this. If we still need a ruler, we also have our sample project. So for this, I used a ultra fine point Sharpie. Then I just have a regular fine point Sharpie I'm gonna use today. If you want those center lines and you have an ultra fine point Sharpie, you can use that. If you don't have a Sharpie, a black Crayola marker will work fine. If you don't have a black Crayola marker, a blue or green or dark colored marker will work okay. If you don't have any markers, you can use crayons, colored pencils, anything that's just darker and a different color than graphite. So I'm going to use my ruler because I want to keep those lines nice and straight and we're just going to outline everything. Make sure you're lining up to the vanishing point when you're tracing those lines, still using your ruler. Sharpie. If I have any pencil lines, like I have a lot in my tree still, I'm going to erase all of those pencil lines. <laughs> done you can start coloring it I use colored pencils when I colored my example 
Um, one thing that I did that I thought was a good idea just to kind of take it another step was when I colored my buildings, the faces, I colored a lighter color and the sides, I colored a darker color. So I had a very large box of variety colored pencils. So I took a lighter yellow and a darker yellow. So the face of the building is the lighter yellow. This side is a little shadowed, so it's going to be the darker yellow. Same with my browns and my turquoise over there. So I used colored pencils for this sample. I'm going to use markers for this one just to show you how it will look with different things. If you have crayons or something else that you want to color with, that works just fine as well. Your goal when you're coloring everything, it should be doing it neatly and completely. Everything should be colored except for what is like supposed to be white. So like mine is a winter theme, so the ground is going to be white, the clouds are going to be white. But everything else is colored neatly and completely. You're in 7th grade, so you should be coloring like a 7th grader. Here's my colored pencil one. Everything is colored except for what's appropriate to be white, like clouds, mountains, and snow. Great job. I can't wait to see what you guys created. Once you have completed coloring your assignment, it is completely finished. I need you to take a photo of your completed artwork and add it to the assignment in Google Classroom. That way you can get credit 
before you're completing your assignment. 